Park, Dr. John, please scrub. All bottles have your warm up. Give an inner audio to Mike. Come queasy during the delivery. Please go back to the Father's waiting room. Please. Out to the central area of the hospital. Located in front of the big magic crystal tree. Cabbage dilation, 10 leaves apart. Dr. John, two delivery staff. Mother cabbage in labor, code green. My name is Dr. John and I'm a CPD as a cabbage patch doctor here at Babyland General Hospital and I'm gonna be assisting Mother Cabbage with this delivery. Do I have anyone here, it's your first time? Oh, I got a bunch of new ones, are y'all nervous? Yes. Well, I'm gonna try to make this as easy as possible for you. Now, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the history of Babyland, but several years ago, a young boy by the name of Xavier Roberts was visiting his Aunt Patty and Uncle John. They lived on a small farm over near Mount Yonah. And one day while Xavier was exploring in the woods, he heard a strange humming buzzing sound. And he looked up and he saw an animal he'd never seen before. It had ears like a bunny, a tail like a bunny, but it buzzed like a bee. And we call those bunny bees. Well, little Xavier was so excited, he followed those bunny bees deep into the forest, and he came upon a big cabbage field. And as he was walking around, he noticed one of the cabbage leaves moved just a little bit. So he went over and he gently lifted up the leaf and looked underneath it, and what do you think he found? Very good, the very first cabbage patch baby. He took the baby home and took care of it until he could find it a loving home, and then every time he would go back to this magical cabbage patch, he would find another baby and take it home and take care of it until he could find it a good home. Then when Xavier grew up, he opened up Babyland General Hospital. He brought Mother Cabbage, the bunny bees, and the magic crystal tree here to live and hired doctors and nurses to take care of them and find good homes for them. Now we know Mother Cabbage is about to deliver because the crystals on the base of the tree are glowing and Mother Cabbage is dilated a full 10 leaves. Ooh. Now that's normal for cabbage delivery. The bunny bees that you see flying high above, they sprinkle magic crystals down on mother cabbage and that determines whether we're gonna have a girl baby or a boy baby. Now anytime a cabbage patch baby is born, it's a special event, but this is an extra special event. This lucky baby has already been adopted. Aww. Have a beautiful young couple, Vanessa and Bill, raise your hand, let everybody see, and you're looking to adopt today. All right now, are we hoping for a boy or a girl? I really want a little boy. A little boy. Okay, folks, I'm going to need your help. On the count of three, I want you to say blue real loud so the leaves that are, have little boys will move and I'll know which one to pull from. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Blue! Oh, folks, come on. Now look how beautiful she is. And he's a big guy. I don't want to get on his wrong side. So let's do this again. One, two, three. Blue! I would say with all that blue, we got a baby boy on the way. Woo! So let's get him out of blanket. We don't want him to catch a cold on his birthday, and then we'll get started. Now I'm going to start by giving Mother Cabbage a shot. But don't worry, this shot's not going to hurt her. This is a shot of amagicillin. And here at Babyland, we use large amounts of TLC, that's tender loving care, and amagicillin. It helps mother cabbage of the baby during and after the delivery. You doing okay, homie? You're looking a little shaky when I brought that needle out, so I just wanted to check on it. Now this next procedure I'm gonna be doing is called an easyotomy. And do you know we are the only hospital in the entire world that does easyotomies? And I don't know why, because I've had really good luck. I've never had to do a C-section. That's a cabbage section. <laughs> All right, everything's going great. This baby's just about to come, but Mother Cabbage needs a little help. Nothing to worry about. She just needs a little help with her breathing. So can I get everyone to take a deep breath in? <gasps> Let it out. <sighs> okay, I do see the baby's head coming first. That's a good sign. Otherwise, it's what's known as a branch delivery, and we could be here all day on a branch delivery. <laughs> Mother Cabbage will give me one more push. Oh. Yeah, we got Woo! Let's get him wrapped up. Show him off a little bit. Oh, he's going to be a soccer player. He's kicking already. 
And here we go. Baby boy. Yeah. Now the interns, they did remember to fertilize the patch last night. And you know how I know that? The baby was born with a little tough hair. If they forgot to fertilize the patch, the baby would be as bald as a doctor. <laughs> now this little guy has an Audi belly button. There's one I gently clipped in from by the cabbage. I'm as careful as I can be, but all of our babies have Audis. Let's turn them around and see. <clears throat> it has the famous Xavier Roberts birthmark. That's how we know he's a true cabbage patch baby. And I'm gonna turn him back around because he's missing mommy and daddy. There we go. All right. Now, would you like to say what we're naming the baby, or do you want me to announce it? You can announce it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Luke Cameron, a handsome son of the beautiful couple, Vanessa and uh, Bill. All right, thank you. Let's give our parents a big hand. Woo! Now, if you will meet me over at the door, I have a little boy that needs a hug. <laughs> 